Hello, it's Tazzy here and today I am going to do something I haven't done for I think about a year and that is a fitness vlog. So what have I been up to? Well I really cannot remember what I've been doing for the whole year, there's been so much going on. Um, so I'm just going to sort of do the last month. Um, and I am about to go for a run, I've got my headphones in and, and my... Uh, my run at my um iPhone on with my running thing ready to go. Um I'm using Runkeeper um and I'm doing a 5k training plan which I originally started last month um but then after I had the operation on my wrist I sort of didn't go for a run. So I've decided that I would restart the training program from the beginning which I done on Sunday. And I got up, I naturally woke up at like 6.30, I ended up, no about 6, I ended up getting out of bed at 7 and going for a run before work um, and being really productive and also doing a small workout and stretching before work. So what have I been up to? Um, I have given myself a new daily routine which is just a very little thing that I do once every single day. Um, I've been doing it for about the past four weeks, I think. Um, so I actually started doing it when I injured my wrist, um, just after I had the operation on my wrist, um, because I wanted to keep doing, I don't want to completely not work out. I had to stop doing my press ups because obviously I couldn't do my press ups with my wrist. Um, so I created like a little short, workout it's not really a workout it's just a few little things to do that I could just do every day to make sure that I'm working on something every single day so it's really quick and easy to do and, but I should mention as well this is like a basic thing that I sort of each day it's different but then it includes these basic things and then I sort of adapt them each day depending on how much time I have and what mood I'm in um, so yeah so I have to plan for at least 15 seconds um, bicycle crunches, um, at least 20 of them, um, squats, at least 20 of them, um, and sometimes, and now I've added that I have to add weights while I do them, it could be just a little bit of weight, I tend to just pick something up that's lying around my room that weighs a bit, um, and then a plank again for at least 15 seconds, um, and I try and mix up the planks between um, a normal plank and elbow planking. So yeah, that's what I've been doing, and other than that, I've just been doing little workouts here and there. I haven't really had much of a routine apart from doing that at least once a day. Um, and I've also tried to stretch, sit down and stretch um, for half an hour to an hour at least every day because I want to be able to do the splits and I was doing really well with that um, and then I sort of started to flake off so I need to get back into that. And to track that I've been using an app called um I don't know what it's called now it's just recently changed its name uh, recently changed its name but it used to be called lift um and it you can put like um sort of things that you want to do um daily or a few times a week and then you can tick them off um each each day that you do it and it gives you reminders and you can add people on it and prompt each other and give people props and thumbs up and stuff so I really like that and I've been using that to do that. Today I am, like I said earlier, going for a run. Um, I am doing one minute fast, so like a sprint, and then uh, one minute 30 recovery, um, a fast paced walk going into a jog. Um, so this is the second run of the program that I'm following, which is like beginner's 5k which is working towards a fun run, or not a fun run, sorry, a mud run that I'm going to be doing in May. So I really need to work on my 5k and my upper body strength. Before I went on my run, I had, um, so I sort of got everything ready to film, had a bit of a tidy in my room. Um, so when I got up, I had drunk some water. So I've pretty much drunk nearly the whole of this this morning. Um, which isn't actually that much, but I don't, I don't like to have too much before my run because I've also had a Verve Remix and 
I've still got the dark skin, but half a banana. So that's like my pre-run fuel, fuel, and then after my run, I've got, um, I'll show you after my run, you'll see what I'm going to have after my run. I'm going to go for my run, and then when I come back, I'm going to film my little routine and whatever I decide to do on the way, and, and I'll let you know how my run is. See you in a bit. Or a second, really. Um, I'm just going to say, excuse me for if you can hear some background banging. Um, my mum's working on some electrical stuff, so don't mind that. But um, yeah, so that was my run. I had a really, 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 really good run today. Um, it was um, interval, like I said earlier, so it was one minute um, steady, as the app puts it, and one and a half minutes slow and the weather outside is amazing and it was just such perfect weather for running in because it was it's it's chilled outside because obviously it is winter and it was very chilly it has been very chilly but it's just warmer than it's been recently because the sun the sky is just so clear and blue and the sun is just beaming down so it was like a perfect temperature to run in so I didn't get too hot and um, but the sun just kept me nice and warm I did actually end up taking my jumper off while I was on the run um, um the one thing I could have done was with my chest being covered up so it wasn't so cold but it wasn't too bad so and it was just a really great run I really enjoyed it um, I had perfect playlists set up I'll show you what I had playing and um, the last song in particular so yeah this is my my playlist and so I just love Taylor Swift she's on every run at least one song there on every run Shake It Off was nice for my warm up for my five minute warm up um, so that just got me in the mood in a good mood and then you know just some songs that just I like and just I could, had a good pace to them and obviously it's intervals so I had a bit of a mixture in there and just and as well things that like the words and stuff can get me a bit hyper like pass out is a really good one even R.I.P like just that that's just a good song to play for my run and then obviously pass out is like I'm gonna do this until I pass out literally I was like but I do not feel like I would have collapsed at this run, in, in, at the end of this run. Then I've not put enough effort in, so that kept me going. And then the last song was not giving in, um, because I didn't. I forgot to include um, a song, because basically my playlist was exactly 25 minutes, and my workout 
worked out, my run worked out to be exactly 25 minutes. Um, but then I forgot to include that I was doing a warm up stretch, paused the run after my five minute warm up bit and paused to do a warm up uh, dynamic stretch. Um, and I forgot to include a song for that. So my playlist finished a bit prematurely, but it was like perfect timing because it was the last running interval. So not giving in, I was like, just push yourself, keep on going. And, I, and yeah, and I was really pushed for that last bit. And then the last, last interval was the steady. So I still kept up a good pace in my walk, but I, it made me concentrate on my recovery breathing. Um, so breathing just just for that slower pace, but I still give, gave it a good power, power on that walk for that last bit. I kept up the speed because I wanted to finish so that I got to my door when it said workout complete. I was a little off, but there we go. Um, so yeah, and then I'll tell you my fastest, but I did actually get an award at the end. Um, and it said that I had, that was my fastest average pace. So I'll, yeah, fast, se oh, fa second fastest two to four mile run. And average pace was minus zero, zero, 13 from the fast. I think, I think in the middle of the run, I was like, so, I thought, thought I was gonna die. Not quite die, but I literally thought I was gonna collapse in the road on the, uh, on the slows were just timed so perfectly. Um, yeah, and I ended up running through a cloud of of dust because there was some road work going on, which wasn't that great, but hey ho. And yeah, so that was the run. The run was great. And then obviously um, I've put in the footage of me, what I'd done as soon as I come in. And then I'd done the stretching. I didn't think I'd include the stretching in the video. And now um, I'm going to drink a body burn. Um, and I've drunk, well, yeah, I've been drinking the rest of my water. Actually, I have some now as well, because it's quite thirsty work running. And I'll go and get some more water in a bit. And I've got some almonds as well to munch on. So I'm gonna have some almonds, and my body, my body burn. I can't remember what it's called then. So, and these are, really tasty but every time I open them I seem to just spray them everywhere <laughs> and I was on the train the other day because I didn't have time to have breakfast and I thought I started later at work I started early I was like oh my god so I didn't have time to have breakfast and I just grabbed one of these I opened it on the train I just went it just like sort of splattered because the train started moving as I opened it and yeah luckily it didn't quite go on anyone but it was a bit awkward because a few people were looking at me. But yeah, so these are really great. I love them. They're so good for post-workout. I'm going to have some because I'm so hungry. I just need to drink it. So yeah, have one of these. Um, and I'm going to jump in, the, uh, jump in the shower. One of my favourite things is jumping in the shower after a workout. Normally I like to like jump straight in while the sweat is still dripping because I don't know it feels really refreshing but it's nice to have a sit down after my workout as well so yeah I'm gonna try and do a fitness vlog twice a month <laughs> once or twice a month um doing them more regularly than that gets kind of boring because a lot of it's the same because fitness is more about keeping up a routine feel free to watch my previous videos um obviously i've got loads of fitness vlogs from last year and i start doing more this year um so watch them check out how i was last year and then yeah this year and i've got some other videos up like uh zelda chat up lines so if you're into that you can watch that um and i done one on what kind of guy I like. I don't talk a lot about fitness in that because I want a guy has to be fit. 
but yeah watch that to figure that one out um and yeah follow me on um instagram and twitter and everything i'll leave all the links below um i do have a fitness instagram which i was really not posted on for ages and now i'm starting to repost on it try and keep that up instagram should really this is such a waffle video i don't care i don't care it's good for sometimes I like just bleh in so yeah Instagram should really, really, really do a thing where they you can have multiple Instagram accounts lo logged on at a time because most people have at least two Instagrams like if they do stuff and like there's people that sort of have a business account and then personal account or like me I know a lot of people have um, a fitness account and then a normal account or something to do with a hobby or something they do so I know people that have like a, a game Instagram and a normal one or um, a photography Instagram and then like their private one so you should really be able to log on it too at once that would be really great anyway I'm just waffling on now and my mum wants to carry on listening to her podcast because I really interrupted her but yeah and I need to go have a shower and get my list of about 25 things done so yeah everyone have a great day bye